If you are planning to apply for an Australian student visa, you'll now need to submit your application from abroad instead of from within Australia. Australia has also more than doubled the fee for international student visas from 710 Australian dollars to 1600 Australian dollars in order to curb migration with the move expected to impact Indians who make up the second largest group of foreign students. Starting today, the 1st of July, individuals seeking Australian student visas must apply from outside the country. Under the new regulation, visitors, temporary graduate visa holders, as well as other specified visa holders currently in Australia are not eligible to apply for student visas. However, student visa applications submitted within Australia before the 1st of July 2024 will proceed without being affected by these new rules. Additionally, holders of working holiday maker and work and holiday visas are exempt from these changes and their current visa statuses will remain unchanged. We have with us licensed immigration advisor Aditya Bharti for further clarity. Thank you so much for joining us, Aditya. Now, these reforms include significantly shorter post-study work rights, a decrease in the age eligibility from 50 to 35 years, and stricter English language proficiency requirements. The visa fee has also been hiked, in fact, doubled. Are these changes likely to discourage Indian students from applying to Australia now? To some extent, because at the end of the day, money matters. And the message, the overall message is coming out as a negative message saying, we want to cap students, we want to reduce the number of students that are coming in, we want to not make it very easy for them to be able to stay back and settle their case. Definitely, it will lead to some sort of a decrease in the interest of students wanting to study in Australia. It's definitely likely, and I think uh, that is not uh, the sector is worried about, whether it is the universities, the agents, or the Hispanic students. Right. Well, India remains the second largest source country for international student enrollments in Australia. You're an immigration advisor. You're the expert. What are some alternates for good higher education and value for money? Any up-and-coming destinations that one may not be aware of as a student from India? See, the preference has always been the English-speaking countries. So, US has been doing amazingly well. Uh, Canada, New Zealand, Australia have uh, they have all always taken students, and then one of these countries were down. The other four typically pick up the bulk of the top step of India. And of course, now newer destinations from uh, you know like Germany are coming in. Ireland is picking up. So there are other countries that will always get some students, but typically. Uh, if you look at past history, uh, a student who is potentially considering Australia may now consider New Zealand, or may even consider uh, possibly US or UK or Canada. Typically, within these five, that's how the students rotate. But if they were to look at other options, Germany is becoming quite popular, Ireland is gaining popularity, so these are some destinations that are other alternatives. But would you say the US? And the UK and Canada still remain the top choices for students heading for higher education from India? It keeps changing every three months with the policies that right. come in and what the government announces. Uh, right now, US is definitely drawing a lot of Indian students for sure. Now, uh, UK was drawing and then they announced some policies which were not, or should I say, uh, friendly towards the married students. So that's taken away some interest, and that is where a lot of uh, students are choosing New Zealand over the session to study. So it keeps changing. Uh, some capping has been brought in in Canada, so there's a bit of a dip of numbers in Canada right now, but I expect that to rise up because when students compare the overall scenario and the processes, Canada is still uh, way more easier and attractive compared to a lot of other countries. Well, thank you so much, Aditya Bharti, for joining us with clarity on the matter.